I bought a, a hard drive. It's very big, three terabytes. But when I open the box and in the computer, and it shows not a three terabyte, but rather is two point seven two terabytes. And why is that? That's very strange. In the U.S., most people don't advertise like this. When you uh, sell something, three terabyte, and then what you get is two point seven. It's a little bit off. It's okay, but what I lost is. 271 gigabytes so I lost that much and why is that so I'm going to in this uh, video answer that question the first of all there are difference the drive use a decimal system it says if it's if it's three terabyte and there's a fine print from the bottom of this uh, of this box. It says one terabyte is one thousand billion bytes. So that's a, a decimal system. But what the operating system in the computer shows would be two to the power of some number. This number, if it's ten bits, would be a thousand. And if it's 40 bits, it will be terabytes. So there's some discrepancy. I'm going to give you an example now. Example one. What does a, a, a kilobytes mean? Kilobytes in the binary system is 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024 bytes. So it's really not 1000 bytes. Operating system recognizes 10 bits as 1024 the hard disk will say it's 1000 bytes it's really 1000 and the, you do a difference the difference is 24 bytes difference so there's a about 2% discrepancy Okay, so if you have a, a instead of a 10 bits, if you have a 20 bits, then you have a 2 to the power of 20 is a megabytes. Megabytes is really not a 100, zero zero, which is a decimal, which the disk drive manufacturer will think is 1048. And the difference will be. 4.8% that's for the megabytes so you have a little bit larger difference when you come to megabytes and then you have a 30 bits and then 30 bits is supposed to be gigabytes but it's not a in binary system it's not exactly one mega a gigabytes 2 to the power of 30 is this many and if you compare with the decimal system then you have a this 7 around 7% 7 difference the same token if you have a 40 bits 40 bits is about a terabyte we are talking about and then you have a about 10% difference. So it's not really the manufacturer is really cheating on you. The manufacturer of the Seagate hard drive actually give you one terabyte. If it's one terabyte, it's a one zero zero. The manufacturer give you this much, but the operating system will report, will recognize this as one terabyte. So the, they both call a terabyte, but they are different terabytes. One is this one, one is this one. Okay, so if you calculate the difference, this is the formula to calculate. This is a binary and then decimal system. You, you take a, you divide this a denominator, you have a difference. So I have list, this will be the final formula to calculate. 
megabytes, gigabytes. So they have a two, five, seven percent. If you carry on this calculation to more, and I will show you an uh, example here, kilobytes, megabytes, and then gigabytes, terabytes, and this will be the petabyte. If you get a bigger, bigger hard disk, this will come a range of petabytes. So you can see the range of discrepancy will be 2%, and it will be 10% on the terabyte and will be 13% for terabytes. I really didn't notice this uh, discrepancy before, but now because the terabyte, the difference is 10% is pretty significant. That's why, <coughs> excuse me, I noticed the difference. And after petabyte, and it's a exabyte, and then it's a zettabytes and yottabytes. And the international system after a yottabyte, it doesn't have anything more. So if you go on like this, go on until you you hit uh, uh, a lot more, like 50%. So the discrepancy will go on as the the growth of the storage until 50%, after 50%, we can, you know, instead of using 180 bits, we use uh, 179 bits. So it, this will roll over. So the maximum, the discrepancy will be 50%. Of course, you'll notice the number and spell with a Google is a 10 to the power of 100. That's a very large number. I don't know what will happen, whether we'll ever have that big storage. But until then, we have a 10% a difference for the terabyte uh, range. Okay, so I hope I really didn't confuse you. And there, there will be two different people. People are confused and go back to watch my video again. And there's another kind of people didn't confuse, you understand. For the people you understand, and let me confuse you again, okay? So the complication is, what is the definition of a byte? Definition of a byte is one byte equal to eight bits. Okay, so the confusion part is in the networking transmission they define instead of 8 bits for a byte you have 8 bit a uh, 10 bits for a byte so this is an example you have a 8 bits you add 2 bits there on the network you send 10 bits instead of 8 bits this is because error could detection at the end of the uh, receiving end people convert back but on the network traffic will be 10 bits. So 10 bits versus 7 bit, uh, 8 bit is 20% overhead. This 20% overhead will give you a different number. For example, if you have a PCIe 2.0, instead of 4 gigabits per second, you can advertise 5 gigabits per second because the 5 gigabits per second is for 8 bits and four gigabits per second is for the 10 bits. Okay, so this particular uh, phenomena eight and 10 is called the an eight bit, 10 bit encoding specifically. Eight bit, you receive an eight bit, you add two bits and become called the eight B, 10 B encoding. Of course, there are other a way to encode say 64, 66, uh, 128, 130, and I'm sure you'll feel confused. But this is the technology people use number differently. So be sure you understand what they mean and why there's a discrepancy. I hope I confuse you and I'm glad I can confuse you. 
And if you don't understand, go back and watch again and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.